All right, so this is the third time that Apple has replaced the keyboard. So it's the fourth Swedish keyboard on this MacBook Pro. And when I first got it on Friday, it's Tuesday now, I actually thought it would be good. But after a couple of days of usage, I noticed that the P key didn't always strike correctly. And when I examined it a bit more, it turns out that the upper left part of the key, P key is crap. Just as the space bar and P key and arrow up key has been crap on the previous keyboards. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type on the P key. And I'm going to show you when I type in particular in the upper left corner. So you're going to see the P key moving. And then we're going to compare that with what shows up on the screen. So right now we have a blank text edit window. And if I type the middle part of the P key, it works and it works again. But what happens if I type the upper part of the key, P key? Let's say, actually, let's erase the window first. And let's, just for fun, let's, I'm going to strike the upper left part of the upper left corner 10 times. And I'm going to zoom in here on the camera and hopefully you can see that the P key actually clearly moves and you can possibly even hear the clicks. So I'll be quiet for once. That should have been 10 keystrokes, right? Oops, 80% failure rate in that quarter. I'll do it once more and again hit the key 10 times. And this time I'll be completely quiet so that you only hear the key. Oh, this time we only got 40% missed keystrokes. I'll try it a third time. just to show that you're actually pressing and depressing the key. Zero percent hits. So whatever Apple is doing, replacing the keyboard three times apparently hasn't fixed the problem. So at this point I've had it. Uh, sorry, there will not be a fourth keyboard from Apple. We are trying but I'm going to stick to my 12-inch MacBook for now.